Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crash Star Gaming. We're taking on Vision 6. We're finally heading over to the Moon Kingdom to kick Gaudis' ass, so let's see how well this turns out. Wow, this is, uh... Hmm. So yeah, apparently the fish can fly in space. That's cool. Again, would have been useful earlier on in, during the game, but hey, whatever. Well, I get how I'm supposed to watch over Hupo, but what's he gonna do for me? <laughs> oh, He just is there to be cute. Okay. I'm getting a really big, like, Kirby slash Knights feel from this stage so far. Alright, so the Kingdom of Legend, Crest, the Moon Kingdom. Alright, let's begin. A lot of these games, these levels just seem really relaxing or kind of... Like, I know this is supposed to be, like, the big end-all level. I guess this is the final stage, but I don't know. It just seems kind of relaxing and tranquil. I mean, I dig it. I mean, look at that. That's totally, like, Kirby-esque with all the stars and stuff. All right. I wonder what exactly the prisoners of the moon can look like. Oh, all right. They're just kind of guys in white suits with little hats. That's cool. I think we're getting progressively less cute with the prisoners that we're saving now. There we go. Okay. There's an obvious color theme to this. I'm assuming we gotta break uh, these gems of varying colors in order to progress further. Again, I'm from the no shit department, so I should know. A lot of, a lot of amethyst going on here. Everything's really shiny and colorful. Like, why aren't there more games like this that just have emphasis on color? Like, I don't get why it's so appealing about, like, gunmetal grays and dark, and dark colors. Like, Dark Souls kind of pulls it off because it's kind of the title of the game, but even with, uh, in Dark Souls 2, I'm talking about Dark Souls in a Klonoa game, but whatever. Um... Majula was actually a lot brighter and a lot more colorful, or somewhat more serene than uh, than the uh, startup area in Dark Souls 1. And I fucking died. Awesome. So yeah, what's really left but to go save the world now, I guess. Because we got our vengeance. We avenged our grandpa. Um, and yet, we still kind of fucked up because we gave a like a really old guy, the pendant that would pretty much spell the end of the world if it got into the wrong hands. So, our bad, I guess. But then again, Klonoa's like a kid or something, so I guess it's not really... I guess this... Excuse me. I guess this is to be expected. I don't know. I'm really digging the uh, music of this level. It's very celestial. It's very, and yet it's it's serene, celestial and serene. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like the safe area in Kirby. Again, another Kirby reference that I feel that I feel is kind of appropriate for this area. Oh boy, what fresh hell is this? We're going to do time bomb throws. That's fun. There we go. Not too bad. This one, however, is bad. Alright, hang on. Oh, fuck, mate. 
Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. Moon Kingdom is a little bit of a bitch. Oh well, we got past that. Oh boy. It's like Bomberman up in here. I'm honestly disappointed there aren't any really uh, new Bomberman games, like straight up Bomberman games. Like, I played Bomberman Hero, uh, the one with uh, with that little Pokemon s character, uh, Pommy. Yeah, I played that one where you could evolve them into all different kinds of shapes, like dragons and stuff. But I'm honestly kind of disappointed that they haven't made like any more Bomberman 64 games. Because those were... I enjoyed that game. It was fun. And it also had, like, uh, the elemental bombers in that game. And I'm talking about Bomberman in that fucking Klonoa game. I don't know why that is, but, you know. Uh, what else? Yeah, I, I watched the Straw Hat No Let's Play Bomberman and uh, the Bomberman games, and I'm just... I don't know, I'm a little curious as to why there haven't been any straight up new ones. Like, they're all Xbox Live versions of classic Bomberman. Can you tell I've run out of commentary for this game? I mean, I'm sure me saying that, oh, this is so adorable and this is so cute is probably getting tedious by now. And I feel like I missed something. Yep, yeah, I did. It's probably getting tedious to the point of, like, okay, we fucking get it, let's move on. So I am. But I mean, I don't know really what else to say. This game is adorable. That's the commentary I have. I mean, I kind of spilled my load with uh, my worthwhile commentary on the English voice acting. But, uh... I never played the original one on PS2, on PS1, so... I guess this is just an HD remake, sort of. I might have already said that in the first episode. Oh well. Speaking of, uh, knights, which this game, like, feels oddly reminiscent of, you know, besides Journey of Dreams, which was kind of, which was also on the Wii, by the way, that was kind of, uh, am I going the right way? Which, that was kind of... Uh, like, I really wanted to like that game. Like, I liked it. I got it for... Fuck. I'm not going the right way. Sorry, this might take up a little bit long. If it's too long, I'll cut to where the new area is, but... Please bear with me for a moment. I, I wanted to like that game. Because I tried playing uh, the old classic one on uh, PlayStation Network, and that one was fun. But, uh... But, I mean, it, it obviously didn't feel like... I don't know. It just felt a little weird or strange here and there. Oh, probably should talk more about this game right now. Uh, as you probably noticed, these are platforms. The second you touch them, you have a time limit of getting off of them. Otherwise, they'll disappear. That's the challenge of this level. This level feels like a dream, honestly. Like, it feels kind of like, uh... Yeah, it just... Like, I get all this looks really fantasy-esque and whatnot. Like, the entire game has been... Well, fuck. Has been really fantasy-esque and... You know, really... Oh, well... Well, we know what we're do, do there. Um... Feels real fantasy-esque, but this level in particular just feels kind of like a dream. Like, it's got the midnight sky, it's got this big old clock tower. Again, very oddly reminiscent of nights, at least that's what I think. Um, I don't know. It just feels like a dream. Maybe that's what makes this level so soothing. Even though it's so hazardous. Oh, that was actually the last prisoner of this stage, so cool. We can move on. There we go. Ah, 
oddly, strangely, since this whole era is supposed to be like, is, well, fuck. Oddly, that's strange or ironic, considering this whole place is supposed to be used to, like, create a never-ending source of nightmares. Hmm. I am so sorry, folks. This is just getting a little fucking hectic. I cannot jump up there. Well, fuck. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I need to go through here. But, uh... Yeah, I mean... I know I'm kind of spacing for commentary, and I apologize if this is getting a little boring, at least with how I'm talking. But... You know... I know, I keep getting on the knights thing as opposed to this, but, I mean, this, the, like, imagery here, the dreamlike scape of this whole area, the nighttime-esque, the clock tower thing, all just, like, kind of makes me think about knights. Hmm. Maybe that'll be the next playthrough. I don't know, maybe. Because I like knights, as a character. He seems, he slash she, or whatever the hell that thing is, seems cool, and it, and it's sad that the only kind of, uh, the only kind of appearance it, that Knights has been making is is or like in tennis games or in fucking uh, was it like tennis games or a race or Sonic All Stars racing? I don't know. It seems like it's a shame. Like he should be he she should be in more stuff or have more of his own games. Like Sonic gets a fucking new game every year, and then everybody gets. All like, oh, this game is supposed to be good, but oh no, it's not great. Whatever. Okay, enough about Sega. Let's move on to Klonoa. <clears throat> Prince Hupo? The fuck? Hupo's a prince? Oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Klonoa has the exact fucking. <laughs> oh my god, they even had the fucking jester hats like in Knights. And Nightmare Energy. Oh, wait, what? Huh? You gave birth to a bubble? Okay. Yo, Hupo. Context. Give us context. Context? This feels so- Whoa! Yeah! Ah! Okay. Can you change back? You're cuter that other way. Hmm. Yeah, you were in my ring the entire time. You know, people who generally say I'll explain everything later generally don't always explain things later, or it's very bad. Turn back. Turn back into a little ball, you're cuter that way. We're Aniki, Hupo. You're my Kyodai. <laughs> Thank you. So, Hupo is a prince. Okay, I, I, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Klonoa just looks so fucking smug. In every single shot he's in, he just looks so damn smug. Doesn't help that he has like a little cat face.
Oh my god, like, I, I wasn't trying to make constant references to knights, but the game is not helping. Or is that like the dream found from Kirby? Please, insert your own whatever the fuck this looks like. I feel it looks like those two games. Well, that was... Okay, that was embarrassing. Come here, mother. There we go. It's cool. Now we got... I mean, we were still gonna help Hupo either way. Because he's our bro. We need to help our bros. Ow. Fucking... So are, like, the Moon Kingdom and the Sun Kingdom, like, a constant war? For, like, re unknown reasons, or is... Hmm. Because Hupo looks a lot like... Because the Moon Soldiers look very... Oh, look, it's, a uh, It's, a uh, Cutter Joe, or it's that Kirby enemy. Like, Sir Kibble. But in a very weird-looking way. But I mean, the Sun Kingdom looks more technological. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, it has more. It's a technology versus uh, magic esque thing going on here. The Sun Kingdom is more uh, technology based, because especially with their soldiers, they look all like mechanical or like Nutcracker soldiers, while the Moon Kingdom soldiers look very fantasy and anime esque, and I don't know. It's weird. Alright, so do this. Do that. There, motherfucker. There we go. I'm gonna get it. There we go. I seriously hate timing puzzles. These are not fun. So my question still stands, like, did the Moon Kingdom and the Sun Kingdom have issues with each other? Strictly because of just... <laughs> you can still, like, slow slide. Ah! Ass is burning! Tail's burning! Because that'd be an interesting little fight. It'd be against the cutest little soldiers ever, but I mean... Uh... Klonoa's from the Wing Kingdom. The little fish people and crab people are from the Water Kingdom. The little clockwork soldiers are from the Sun Kingdom. And then, these guys and Hupo are from the Moon Kingdom. So what, no love for fire or earth or, or like, ice? Or anything like that? Well... <sighs> okay... I'm like 20 minutes in and I've already died like how many times already? Well, fuck. Oh, it's cool, because there's an extra life right there. And it's time for... Quadruple jump! Oh. Come on! No! Come on! I am very sorry. I am generally not this bad at platformers. Or am I? I don't know. I wasn't so hot during the Jack and Daxter playthrough. There we go. There. That does not make up for half of the fucking embarrassment I just gave myself. But you know what? Fine. Whatever. Moving on. We gotta go save more fucking moon soldiers. Moon prisoners. Extra life. Gotta take this Sir Kibble looking motherfucker. There we go. 
Oh, that motherfucker's gonna give us issues. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, so jumping is an issue in this level. There we go. Come here, you. Oh my god. Well, at least they, they're not invincible here. Oh. They're harmless whenever you fucking shoot them with a wind bullet. Stop. Come here. There we go. <laughs> they just get so pudgy. I think that's cute. Um... Whoa, fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, damn it. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. Sorry. So I guess this is like the last level. Or penultimate last level. Because, I mean, this is Gaudius' home turf, right? This is where he's held up. Well, it's not his home turf, but I mean, it's... Y you know what I mean. Alright, if I recall, this... Yeah, this next puzzle's a bitch. Because it's got more of this timing bullshit I gotta do. So, we gotta get on this. There we go. Yeah. I did that in the pre I did that uh, before I started recording and I you know it was embarrassing of how long it took me to actually fucking figure it out even though it's very obvious. But you know what? We we learn, we grow, we progress. That's what happens with these things. Oh boy. Look, it's that same stage from Knights that I've referenced, like, three times already. Oh, man. Alright. So, I guess we did red, we did green, and now it's time... Oh, blue door. And then big gold bronze door. So how many soldiers are we missing? We're missing two. Alright. Oh! Fuck you, game. Alright, he can't get me here. But how the fuck do I get up now? Oh. At least the moves are somewhat helpful because they're not... They're at least making themselves, you know, available for me to jump on. Oh, these motherfuckers. These guys are annoying because you have to use the double jump attack to kill them. But it's okay, because moves are just in damn near infinite supply. <laughs> I, I don't care if this is like episode 6. They, they're still adorable whenever they're like all puffed up. They just get the little... They get the little stereotypical anime cat faces that are just so adorable. They're like, hmm. Like they don't have a care in the world. They're evil, but they're just so dang cute. Oh. Damn it! Sir Cable looking mother- What the fuck? It's a good thing this game does isn't nearly as, like, taxing- or has, a uh, As big a health restriction as Jack and Daxter. Last Moon Soldier we saved. So we should be all set to take on Gaudius after this. Gadius? Gaudius? It's like another Sephiroth CP Roth or no, nobody calls him CP Roth. David Lee Roth, maybe, but not. I still don't get Gaudius's MO. Like he just wants to destroy the world. Okay, cool. But what does that do for you? Like, he just wants vengeance, but I mean... But then the world's just blown up. Or it's a world of nothingness and destruction, which doesn't make sense. 
by the way. You can't have nothing and yet everything being destroyed. Or is it like, like, uh, explosions in a vacuum? Hmm. Bad guys, or antagonists usually don't have the best plots in mind for whenever they're just, when they just want to be chaotic evil and destroy everything. Awesome. I love these little moves the best. I know, I like the flying ones, but fuck! Because they're just, they just want to go for it. Look at them. Look at these little legs. I'm going to charge at them. Fuck! I apologize profusely, you guys. Th this level is just giving me issues. There we go. It's cool. It's cool. No, it's not. Okay, there we go. Awesome. No, no, no. Seriously? Oh. Okay, so this game apparently thinks you have to do it in one shot. Even though these motherfuckers with the boomerangs are being huge assholes. Oh, great. Yeah. And they just destroy your... your wind bulleted thing. Come on! Okay, jump on the plat- Jump on the platform and just get fucked in the mouth. Awesome. Klonoa, we- Klonoa for the Wii, you are getting my goat. You are fucking getting my goat. I have no idea where that phrase came from, but it applies right now. Right fucking now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Progress. Being made. Finally. Moving on. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I gotta... Fuck! Okay. We're gonna wait for them to come back. Cool. Check out. Fuck! Oh, you sucker of cock. There we go. Okay, that one wasn't nearly as bad as the last one. <sighs> okay. We are fucking doing it, making progress, progressing. That is what we're doing. Gonna go through that last door. Gonna. Ugh. Excuse me again. I'm sorry. We're gonna kick Gaudius in the frickin' teeth. With our wind bullets. He always stands so, like... Like, defiant. Like, Ugh, yeah, yeah, gonna get it. Gonna be a hero. And... <laughs> now I'm just making an observation about what the character does. I wonder what the fuck's going through Klonoa's mind right now. Like, wow, my best friend's a prince of a moon kingdom. Oh yeah, my grandpa died too. I met a flying fish. Who's married to a crab man. I'm having a pretty weird day today. And now I'm flying! <laughs> he's just flying and he's just... Whoa. And then Klonoa burned up in the sun. <laughs> Okay, that's some pretty... That's some brotherhood of... That's some uh, dark brotherhood shit right there. Hold on, show! Well, why wouldn't... You know, this is a... Oh, okay, cool. It wasn't a hologram, it's, he's just there. This is a thing that bugs me about bad guys. Just kill them when they're weak. Nick them in the bud. <laughs> you and your stupid fucking bird mask. 
daddy. <laughs> you can't say bad. You can't sound badass with a little voice like that, Klonoa. Just a little bit. You're a little too late. I mean, you were almost there. Just a pinch. What? <laughs> I wonder why we hate. Oh, what? What the fu- <laughs> Nobody wants to have a nightmare. Damn them. I'll blow them all up. Yeah! Thank you, Hupo! Oh. <laughs> of course, the fucking nihilist. How could this happen to me? Made my mistake. Or crawling. God, he's such a little whiny bitch. Is that really the main antagonist's, like, whole, like, point? Nobody likes me, so I'm gonna blow up the world. Wow, I don't know- Whoa, okay, fucking wise man here. I don't know what's worse. Is it the fact that he- I don't know who's worse as a villain. Him or Joker? Joker for being a fucking incompetent, like, little bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. It, that just warps you. Or the fact that, like, Gaudius' whole raison d'etre is because nobody likes me. Nobody wants to have a bad dream. They all just want to have good dreams. I'll show them. I'll show all of them. Okay, these warp things are a little weird. I'm assuming we gotta grab the blue ones. No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we just gotta warp and hit him. No, apparently not. Never. Well, what the fuck is the point of this then? Guess it's just another obstacle I gotta jump over. Okay, sorry. Now I get what he's gotta do. I think. But he's got, like, the universe in his chest. What the fuck? Oh. Oh! Alright, so it wasn't the blue ones, it's the purple ones. But <laughs> he's just looking at you like, hmm, what's you gonna do? Ah. Oh, don't be a dick. What the fuck? Check it out, I got three heads. What the fuck is this? Oh, well. Okay. Oh, okay, this isn't really, like, scary, Gaudi. It's, it's kind of just annoying. Oh. There we go. I got about three more hits, unless a heart piece just decides to fall down and grace me. Okay, fuck. World Runner! Oh, well, apparently I only have... Oh, right. Forgive me for the lack of commentary at the moment, or the lack of coherent commentary, but this is kind of... Oh, well. He just has the whole literal universe in his chest, and what does that even do? Does that heal him? I don't think it does. Oh! Okay. I, I have no commentary on this. I don't know what this is. He just made like a pyramid. <laughs> what are those moves thinking? They're like, oh man, oh god, oh god, oh dude. Uh, oh. <laughs> I wonder what a Mew would look like if it was just puking, like, incessantly, like, <laughs> I bet that would even be cute. I don't know. It'd probably just be the one, like, terrifying thing in this game. 
Oh. Okay, I was just supposed to shoot him. Alright. I admit it, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just not good at video games. Hold still, fucker. Yeah. Adios, you are a dick. Eh. Oh boy. Come on. I'm gonna get it, guys. There we go. Awesome. Fucking great. I'll cut to where I was before. Okay, we're back. Alright, now I know what to do. And now this motherfucker is dead. He is so dead. He is so hosed. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him up. As soon as I can... Uh, come on, dude. That's not even... It's not even hitting me. It's just being annoying. It's out of my reach. There we go. Yeah, I beat him. There you go. Told you. We make progress on this channel. I keep my promises about kicking the shit out of Birdmass men. So yay, we beat the final boss, you guys. And that Naha Tomb thing is not gonna happen, because we beat him. Are you dead yet? Are you done being a dick, JB Blank? Oh, fancy you guys showing up. Uh, what's Baloo doing here? <laughs> and the Chiefess. And that guy. And the. Oh. Me na, me de de With your skinny arms? I don't think so. And then they all had a big hug. Come on, everybody. Bring it in. Bring it in. Everybody get a big ol' hug. Oh, he's so happy! Yeah! <laughs> ha ha ha! I may just be ahead, but I can still do shit. He doesn't even have a face anymore on the bottom. Just It's just a stupid helmet. Oh, fucking co- Through a prison and found the building blocks that give form to the- To the world of phantom- What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, there was that giant big old lava egg that we passed up. I wonder what that was. Well, I kind of already got away with it. You guys can't really stop me. Rain's dream. What the fuck is he talking about? What dream are you referring to, helmet person? What exactly does encompass a perfect nightmare? I'm curious. Or are they referencing the Azure Night Nightmare? That'd be awesome if Nightmare just popped up out of, out of the screen. Like, popped up in the screen just with a big old sword. Like with a soul ear ready to fight full noise like, Souls, I need your soul. Oh, that would be awesome. Soul Calibur's a Namco game. What the fuck? Oh no, that's not great. Wait, you can just give nightmares to people? Quick, ride your flying fish. Why didn't we do this to begin with? Oh right, because people got brainwashed and stuff. Quick, do some Captain Planet bullshit. Really? Baloo's the representative of our, of our kingdom? Get 
Okay. Now is not the time. What? What strand? What do you? What? Do not pull some Inception bullshit on me. Oh, if this game ends up being just a fucking dream, I'm gonna be pissed. I swear, if this game pulls out the whole, it was all a dream, and none of it mattered, that is going to piss me off so bad. Okay, so apparently we're not done just yet. But hey, we saved everybody. The final vision. Next time on Crash Star Gaming, we're gonna take on the final vision and go kick fucking Nahatum's ass. Alright. Thanks for watching.